Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden Cheese has always got another franchise mode tip for you guys today. Today, I'll be going over the top five teams to rebuild in Madden 22. These are going to be the teams that have the most salary cap space, the most draft capital in the future, and the youngest, most talented rosters to make sure that you can build a dynasty that lasts for years and years and years in your franchise mode or whatever connected franchise mode you're playing. Now, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to skip right into the video. Now, starting off, we have the Dolphins, which have a very good uh, young core, good young quarterback in Tua, Tunga Vailoa. They don't really have a running back, but their receiving core is loaded. I mean, they have, they have to me, the best depth at the two most important positions, which is receiving core and weapons and uh, the, the secondary. Those are probably the most valuable things when it comes to franchise mode, and they probably have some of the best. With Willie Fuller that I just picked up, Devontae Parker, who's still a really good player, good physical receiver, Jalen Waddle, who I think was the fifth pick in the draft. So they have a ton of receiving depth, even at the tight end spot. Mike Gusecki is a super Super fast tight end so they're loaded there the offensive line is really not that great the defense as a whole is really not that great but they do have a lot of high first round picks like uh, Phillips here who was a first round pick um, some good young linebackers guys like McKinney and Baker and even on the defensive front I mean guys like Christian Wilkins who I probably passed right over is a, is a former high first round pick I think it was like the 13th pick not too long ago so a really good defensive front but like I said get to that secondary they have Xavier Howard who's still pretty young Byron Jones 28 uh, you know those two guys guys alone I think they, that's pretty much it when it comes the corners but they're both elite corners and they pretty much are going to be locked up for a very long time like I said cornerbacks are hard to find their safeties not so much but Eric Rose solid so you have a really solid foundation on defense and a really solid foundation of weapons on offense to have a lot of success for a very long time their salary cap space is pretty average it's close to 40 million but they do have two first round picks in the 2023 draft giving them that extra draft capital that should make it really uh, you know really easy to build this team and keep it good for a very long time. Next up, we got the Eagles, who are one of the better teams when it comes to draft capital. They have three projected first round picks next year. Yeah from the Colts and also from the Dolphins, uh, giving them you know, a good opportunity to just rebuild this team very quickly. They also have one of the best young rosters in places that really matter, like you know, weapons once again, just like the Dolphins. Jalen Hurts, I'm not really sure about him. I mean, he's fast. I don't know if he's really got what it takes to be the quarterback of the future, but if you can work him up, that's a really good addition, a really good piece to the puzzle because he is young and he is cheap. But you also have a lot of really good young players like Miles Sanders, who's a rising star in the NFL. You get to the receiving core and their receiving core got a lot better with the addition of Devontae Smith. They also have a speedy former first round pick in uh, Jalen Rager's 93 speed. He can work him up pretty easily. And guys like Quez Watkins, who was a sixth round pick last year, is super fast. You should be able to work up as well. You get to the tight end spot. Dallas Scott is one of the best young tight ends in the league. You get to the offensive line. They always have good young linemen uh, for the most part. Uh, they drafted uh, Atlanta Dickerson in the second round. As long as he stays healthy, you have a lot there. When you get to the defensive side, that's where they start to lose it a little bit. I mean, they still do have one of the best defensive fronts right now but when you look towards the future the defense is probably a work in progress but on the offensive side because of his weapons his draft capital and his salary cap space this is a team that you can easily rebuild quickly Next up, we have the Giants. This is another team filled with weapons. Uh, the real big issue would probably be Daniel Jones. Trying to stay upright, and he trips. But he's still young, so you could easily work him up and boost him up to a quality NFL quarterback in you know any connected franchise. They have great running back in Saquon Barkley, who's already one of the best in the game. Then you have a ton of weapons. Guys like Kenny Galladay, Sterling Shepard, Darius Slayton, John Ross, who obviously is still 25, even though he hasn't played too well in the NFL. And then first round pick Kadarius Tony. All these guys are fast. 93 speed, 96 speed, 93 speed. I mean, you have a ton of really potential, you know, great weapons on the offensive side, including tight ends like Evan Ingram, who's one of the fastest tight ends in the league. The offensive line's really not that great, but they do have a former first round pick and a top four pick in Andrew Thomas. So hopefully you can work him up. On the defensive side, they have a lot of young talent there too. Dexter Lawrence is a first round pick not too long ago. Leonard Williams is a top five pick not too long ago. The secondary is really where it's at. James Bradbury is only 28. He's one of the best best cornerbacks in the game. Dory Jackson is a super athletic cornerback that you could easily work up. They have a lot of young cornerbacks, a lot of young safeties as well. Guys like Xavier McKinney was a second round pick last year. Jabril Peppers, who they got from the Browns in a trade. So their secondary should be loaded and their offensive weaponry should be loaded. Add that to the fact that they have a couple additional picks from the Bears trade. And this is one of the better teams to rebuild in the game. Next up, we got the Broncos, who 
have a whopping $48 million to play with when it comes to salary cap space. And they also have a ton of talent. Now, the only thing really missing on this team is probably a quarterback, but Drew Locke is kind of young. You could probably still work him up if you're if you're good at this game. You move over to the running backs, you have, you know, they drafted Javante Williams in the third round. I'm not really sure. He's okay, but you still have Melvin Gordon, who's one of the better backs. And he's only 28. Then you get to the receiving core, and they're loaded with young talent. Guys like Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick, KJ Hamler is the fastest one out of all of them at a 94 speed. So they have tons of guys there. Tight end, Noah Fan, one of the fastest tight ends in the game once again. They also have a guy, I can't even pronounce his name, but he's an 88 speed. He's only a year into the league. So you're loaded at the, the weapons position, which is to me the most important part. Then you get to the offensive line. They have some pretty good young linemen too. Guys like uh, Garrett Bowles, who wasn't drafted too long ago, Dalton Risner. Um, you know, they have enough to fill out a pretty good offensive line. The defensive side is pretty established. When it comes to young talent, not necessarily a ton there, but they do have guys like Bradley Chubb, who's only 25, and he's on the rise. Then guys like in the secondary, once again, loaded in the secondary. First round pick, Patrick Sertain. The second, he was, what, the 10th pick overall, the 9th pick overall? So they're loaded in the secondary as well. Um, some of these guys are a little bit older. Guys like Kyle Fuller are getting a little bit older and stuff like that, but they still have a lot of talent. Justin Simmons is in the prime of his career at 27. Uh, and, you, you know, you just have a loaded... I, I look for things like offensive weapons and defensive skill positions like cornerbacks and safeties, and they have a really good uh, market cover when it comes to that. Next up, we got the Panthers. This is one of my favorite teams when it comes to Madden. I plan on doing a, a CFM with subscribers, so if you're a CFM player, you play on Xbox Next Gen, uh, let me know in the comment section. Just drop that you're interested and drop your gamer tag and I will get back to you when I start filling out the 32-man the roster. The, the Panthers, when it comes to them, I mean, they have some of the highest salary cap space at $86.3 million. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. They don't have a ton of additional draft capital, but they're loaded on the offensive side when it comes to weapons again. I think Sam Darnold was a really good pickup. I still think he's a good quarterback. He gives you an adequate young quarterback to build around. Then you get to the running back spot. They did uh, draft a running back, I think, in the second or third round, a Chuba Hubbard, who's one of the faster rookie running backs. They still have Christian McCaffrey, obviously, who's only 25, so he's going to be there for a very long time. But you got a good two running back system there. Then you get to the receivers. Robbie Anderson's only 28. DJ Moore's only 24. And then guys like David Moore, who they just picked up from the Seahawks. Terrence Marshall Jr., who they just picked up in the second round, is only 21. He's a six foot three receiver with 91 speed. So they're loaded at the receiver position. They don't really have a great tight end. That would probably be one of their biggest weaknesses, aside from also the offensive line. Uh, but on the defensive side, they're loaded with young talent once again. Brian Burns, one of the best pass rushers in the game, 88 speed, he's only 23 years old. Then you got Hassan Redick, who they just picked up, 88 speed, he's only 26 years old. Then you have guys like Gross Matos, too, who who's, you know, only 23, you could also work him up a little bit. Derek Brown was the f was the eighth pick last year. He's only 23 years old. He's obviously a good player. But they also do really good in the secondary, which is typically one of the more important things. J.C. Horn, I'm surprised he's so lowly rated. He's a really outstanding young-looking cornerback. He was drafted eighth overall. Guys like Dante Jackson is only 25. He's got 96 speed. He's still one of my personal favorite players in this game because of that speed. They also picked up A.J. Boye for a good short-term answer. And then Jeremy Chin, who looked like a super star in the making last year 93 speed at a six foot three he's only 23 years old this guy's an absolute stud and a playmaker so their secondary is loaded their defensive line is loaded which should get you plenty of pass rush help and they also have a ton of weaponry on the offensive side next up we got the jets this is a team that has two first round picks in the upcoming draft which is obviously really important as well as two fifths two six sorry three six as they have a loaded amount of draft capital they also have 46 to almost 47 million dollars in cap space and they're gonna need that because their roster is a little bit lacking. Their weakest point is probably talent, but they do have a lot of good young prospects. Guys like Zach Wilson, who they just picked in the first round. Uh, they don't really have a running back, but they did draft Michael Carter in the second or third round of the, of the previous draft. Uh, receivers, I mean, they're, they're kind of hurting there. I do like Corey Davis. He's only 26. Jameson Crowder is still a pretty decent player. Elijah Moore, I think they took him in the second round. So you could easily make a receiving core out of those three guys. The offensive line, they have put some draft, high draft stock in the offensive line 
guys like Mika Becton they just drafted in the first round, Elijah Vera Tucker who was a first round pick. Then you get to the defense, they brought over Carl Lawson who's a good young player. They're paying him a lot, but he's only 26. Quinton Williams only 23. Uh, Sheldon Rankin's only 27. So the defensive front is pretty solid. They got Marcus May who's only 28. He's probably the best defensive player they have to go along with that strong defensive front. But ultimately this is probably going to be one of the more challenging rebuilds. They have a lot of money and they have a lot of draft capital to do it. But if you like a challenge, this is a good team. Next up we have the Lions. The Lions have I think $68 million in cap space which is second highest in the game and they also have two first round picks in the next two drafts. So they have a ton of you know, capital to try to fill some of the roster deficiencies, which they do have a lot. I mean, Jared Goff's only 26. I can't say I'm a, a huge believer in him, but you could still work him up. DeAndre Swift is only a year into the league. Jamal Williams is young. They have a couple of young running backs at the receiver position. They have a couple of guys that, uh, you know, guys like Brett Perry or Brashad Perriman, who's only 27. He's really fast. You can still work him up. They don't really have a lot of wide receivers, which is kind of an issue. That's probably their biggest issue because it's not easy to get necessarily, although you can draft them or buy them. TJ Hawkinson is definitely one of the best young tight ends in the game. They have a lot of good young linemen. Guys like Taylor Decker, uh, guys like Frank Ragnow is an 88 overall, and Panay Sewell, who is their first round pick from this last season. So they have a lot of line potential, just not a lot of weapons. They have some good young defenders, guys like Trey Flowers, who's only 26, guys like uh, Jeff Akuda, who is a first round pick not too long ago, Quinn Dunbar, not too old. I always liked him because he's fast and he's tall. Um, but ultimately, this is another one of those teams that's a real challenge. They don't have a ton of depth or a ton of talent on the offense, but they have a lot of draft capital and they have a lot of money to try to make that up. So that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you. Thank you.